Hey there and welcome back. Today we want to make a haptic board with the Raspberry Pi, so we switch videos on a button press. To do this we use the so-called OMX player, which is usually a terminal interface. As you can see, you can type in OMX player followed by the path name of a video and then the video is played to the HDMI output of the Raspberry Pi. This also works with different file types as MP4 or well. Now to make a script for the OMX player we need to have some sort of wrapper and therefore we need to um, install the OMX player wrapper from WorldPreeze and we use the set layer method which I contributed and here again thanks to Will Priest for making the library available to the public. And the problem is that setting the alpha or anything else did not work, so we really need to work with the set layer. And while we need the set layer, you can see in this example, so when we launch two videos, you see this flickering. And now when we call the set layer, we um, see that the flickering stops. Now we can take a look at the solution of our final script, which uses four layers. And on the first layer, there is every video. And this we do not see at all, because on the second video, there will be our background video, which is looping. Um, and when a button is pressed, the video is played. And when then another button is pressed, then it's switched to another video. And when any of those videos, or when the current video which plays stops, then the background video um, resumes from start and plays again. So we can now um, see um, in this simulation that on our second layer, the background is playing. Now when we press a virtual button, then the video is put to layer 3, then to layer 4. And we need to imagine that we just see the fourth layer. So higher layers are shown above lower layers. Now when we hit another button, the video dedicated to the button is set to layer 3, then the Video playing on layer four is set to play as uh, to layer one, and then the video layer three moves to layer four. Another problem was the GPIO, because the callback of a GPIO is just one thread, and to understand this, we can look at this example. Imagine you had a friend John, which throws balls to you. Um, with different colors and when you get a ball you say the name of the color so let's assume yellow but what happens when he throws two balls at once you do not know what to do therefore we need to um, start a new thread to go around this problem otherwise we have a slideshow so in our example what we would do we would throw the ball to another friend and he says the name. And all these other friends we need to sync up so that they aren't crying colors over each other. And we do that by using a lock. And you can imagine this like um, there is one ball and only one of them can grab them. And when they have the ball, they can say the name of the color and then lay the, color, uh, the ball back in order for someone else to take it. Now we can set up our Raspberry Pi, therefore we type in sudo apt get update and sudo apt get upgrade minus y. After waiting a little bit, we set the GPU memory to 512 and restart. Now we need to install the OMX player wrapper. This we can we need to do by git cloning the repository and then uh, go to the uh, folder 
and type in sudo python3 set up the py install. After that we can download the script therefore I launched a github repository called projects and you can also git clone the repository as you can see in the video and then you can go to the haptic board folder and in there you will find the script. Now before we can launch the script we need to copy the videos to the right location and I'm going to explain how you can adapt the program later but the preset is um, a path home pi videos and then called vid0 um, all in small letters dot mp4 and so on and so forth would one would two now um, we can adapt the program by typing nano and then haptic board to pi and here you can see um, the map so which pin is mapped to which video by adapting those two dictionaries so let's say in the first line um, the file one is this vid then you can see that um, one is triggered by pin two now you can adapt that as you want and everything should work fine and now we can launch the program by typing python3 haptic board.py and then you see this beautiful seamless and gapless transition thanks for watching i hope you liked and if so please leave a like and subscribe stay curious and bye